everybody. I'm here to talk about this EFA linker, which I got from Deal Extreme. It's only 20 bucks. Awesome little card. You can see it has like a little USB port, a little mini USB port on the end. Okay. Now I'm gonna load up the software. You have to go to the website and download this client software. Very simple. It's kind of old-fashioned. Okay. Now, once you've got it loaded up, what you want to do is you want to change the background image because it's very boring. So you're going to click over here, back BMP. You notice I'm using a Macintosh. Now, even though I'm using a Macintosh, I'm running Windows XP through it because you, this none of this software works on OS X. But uh, if you get a copy of VMware, you can use this with uh, Macintosh, no problem. Now, let me show you. I've got here, you can see... Uh, kind of confusing the way it looks now. Let me show you. You can see that's a picture of uh, Jamie Priestley there that day with Photoshop. Um, all you got to do is uh, download off the website some of the background images and figure out the uh, exact uh, dimensions which are 240 by 160 and just save it as a bitmap file and then you can now we'll go back over to the software. Click back BMP, load that, load that picture in. And then over here, you're gonna want to click GBA loader and use BMP, and that will instruct it to uh, load the loader, which will let you put more than one ROM on, and to use the background image. Then you just click add ROM and add the ROMs. I'm not gonna do it because it takes a real long time, and I don't think I think you can figure that out for yourself. But I will show you what it looks like after it's done. So then we plug it in. Did you hear that? That's Windows recognizing it. Now we're going to click search. It's going to read the card. And you can see there's a bunch of games. Some of them are uh, Japanese games and uh, homebrews that you can only play with this. Okay. So now we're going to take the card out. What we would have done if we were doing it for real is we would have clicked right ROM and we just would have waited. It takes a while. That's why I didn't do it. I'm going to take the card, put it into my Game Boy. And there's Jamie Priestley. And there's the menu. And here I'm going to show you a game. This is a homebrew. And you can see it works great. It's the best thing you can possibly get for your Game Boy or your uh, Nintendo DS. So I highly recommend it. Alright, see you later.